Hello, I am Mihai Rus from uh, stuparul.ro and uh, in this uh, movie I'm going to uh, show you uh, an early spring method for uh, developing uh, then growing the, the colonies. Uh, this method is, um, is named uh, Blinov and um, is the first time I'm testing it so I'm, uh, I'm also not uh, sure myself of uh, the results I'm going to get. Um, shortly uh, it consists of uh, tightening the uh, winter uh, nest so much that uh, not all the bees can stay inside uh, this uh, uh, middle, uh, middle nest and some of the, the bees, the working bees, uh, can go uh, outside one or two frames on each uh, side um, but the, the queen is inside this uh, very tightened uh, uh, nest one, uh, th two or three uh, frames. So this is what uh, I'm going to do with these uh, separators, uh, thin separators, and uh, we'll see what, uh, what happens. Uh, as you see, I, um, I use um, hives uh, with uh, unique, uh, unique boxes. Uh, I'm using supers for um, uh, for these boxes, it's uh, a box of uh, 17 uh, uh, centimeters in height, so the frames are uh, 16 uh, centimeters in, uh, in height. It's the um, French and uh, also Romanian and also in other countries uh, standard for uh, uh, honey, honey boxes. And uh, because I want to have a unique box, and I consider that uh, I can do more with these shallow boxes than uh, with a, a full uh, uh, Lanstrot uh, box of 23 centimeters. I have chosen this. Um, I also have the hives on uh, 12 uh, frames. Uh, I will show you next uh, uh, in, the, in the coming period uh, when we go in the season uh, why I prefer uh, having these uh, bigger uh, boxes. Uh, usually is because I can uh, can make uh, two uh, swarms, uh, small colonies inside one uh, one box. So let's get started. Today is uh, 15th of uh, February. Uh, we have good weather. It's around uh, 13 uh, uh, degrees Celsius, and uh, as you can see, uh, the bees are flying. Uh, we are uh, in the southeast of uh, Paris, in France. Um, so the weather is not very, not very cold, and from now on, I consider that uh, uh, it's a good, uh, it's a good timing to to start uh, um, growing brood in the nest and uh, intensifying as much as possible the uh, growing uh, of the the colonies for uh, preparation uh, uh, for next harvest, for, pre for first harvest. So let's start. I use this uh, kind of tops for my hives with a little bit of isolation. In fact, it's two, two centimeters. This is the crown board should not be propolized because I have some other isolation inside. The bottom of the hive is uh, uh, fully aerated and I winter with it uh, opened uh, totally. This is why I can put uh, plastic foil and uh, I don't get or I should not get uh, uh, you mid uh, I should not get the moisture inside uh, the hive because I have total aeration on my bottom so this does not look very uh, weak it's quite quite okay it's not one of my strongest hives we will take a short peek inside 
to see if uh, we have brood but this should be the case I'm going to try my luck on this frame it's full of bees there are no eggs no larvae Here is the queen, it's a red queen. And here we have a little bit of brood with eggs until here, like this. The queen is here, not very big yet. So she has not started uh, a long time before uh, laying eggs she's still uh, a little bit small a little bit small okay so with this uh, new method i'm going to leave the hive mm -hmm. only on one box uh, mainly the upper box in which now we have uh, most of the bees you can see now the bottom a little bit rusty because uh, I have made uh, varroa treatments with uh, formic acid and look what it does to metallic uh, parts in uh, your hive not very nice there are some bees not very many okay and now gently we put the upper uh, box on, on the bottom. We have pollen bring, brought from outside. Uh, I have seen one or two bees, but I have lost them now. I'm looking for the queen to know where to put the first um, separator so here she is here and here is a, a bee with a little bit of pollen and here uh, a bee with uh, more pollen I will make the nest uh, the inner nest on these two frames This is a frame with a, a little bit of uh, honey. I'm checking to see if there are eggs or not. No, no eggs. With these separators, I'm going to to create the inner nest. The bees will be able to uh, travel in and out. The communication will be done uh, over the separator and beneath it. Okay, so here is the second separator. And now we come with the exterior frames with the honey. Okay. These are empty and there was a little bit of moisture, I don't like it. Some more bees with pollen. It is said that uh, this method, method should be applied when, uh, when you have uh, 
pollen outside in uh, nature. All the six uh, or five, yeah, five frames from uh, the bottom box were empty. I have a different separator now just to uh, preserve a little bit the heat. Beneath it, the uh, working bees can go and uh, gather in the in the nest. I will tighten it a little bit more to have just the necessary space. And now we can give a proteic supplement and uh, next week I will bring some more uh, frames with uh, honey from the warehouse because it does not have enough uh, enough honey and uh, in about uh, two weeks these two frames should be full of uh, brood and we will start uh, giving frames from outside with space for the queen to, to lay into them uh, eggs. So uh, the nest will develop uh, frame by frame and the frames should be full full of brood and by this uh, by constricting the the um, uh, queen to work in this small uh, space uh, we give it um, a very good uh, boost uh, and the development it's uh, quickened. I am using this product it's a uh, um, supplement uh, patty with uh, a little bit of pollen sterilized and uh, 10% uh, uh, crude protein. Um, it is uh, obtained by uh, uh, from 20% uh, uh, um, supplement uh, soy and uh, yeast, beer yeast, and 3% uh, uh, pollen. I think I can work with uh, half uh, half a kilo. Uh, they will not eat it uh, very very quickly. I think. Uh, in two weeks time uh, it will not be finished and I'm making an incision here just like this and I'm putting it on the brood nest. Because they do not have so much uh, honey, I will give them also uh, some energetic uh, feed um, to have enough, enough um, uh, sugar to develop uh, the hive. As an energetic uh, supplement, I'm using the same type of uh, candy. Uh, both of them have uh, uh, something in common, they also have uh, Hive Alive. Hive Alive uh, uh, reduces the Nosema spores in, uh, inside the, the colony and uh, it's a good moment to give, uh, give it in autumn and in spring. So uh, the dose uh, it's uh, 10 milliliters uh, um, in the spring and 10 milliliters in the autumn. Um, the energetic version has uh, 2.5 milliliters uh, per kilo and the proteic version has uh, 5 milliliters per kilo. Okay, so this is how it looks. I will cover all this with uh, this plastic uh, foil so the the heat stays beneath and I'm going to put a metal sheet 
to cover all the um, bottom so that I'm not uh, I can keep the the warmth inside the, the hive and also the now the um, uh, humidity the moisture should be kept inside because bees will uh, will use it uh, to feed uh, to take water and feed the uh, the brood which is uh, starting as you can see I have some space here if the candy is bigger so I don't have problems and this is what I'm going to do for each uh, for each of the hives in uh, two weeks time 10 days uh, I will check and uh, give them more uh, more space inside the interior uh, nest this is another hive here the situation is reversed uh, these are Caucasian and uh, they usually gather more uh, more honey for wintering and uh, they are in the bottom uh, box and the uh, upper box is full of honey so let's see if we can find the queen here what is a little bit uh, costly in uh, time for this method is that you need to search the hive for the queen. I'm seeing uh, new pollen here, so it's a good time to, to do this. And we have larva. Just on this side inside uh, inside the pollen uh, wall let's say so here is larva so the queen must be here oh here we have a nice patch of brood and the queen it's a queen from uh, 2019 a young queen which has uh, started earlier we also have uh, uh, new bees already you see these gray ones and small ones this has have been hatching from uh, uh, the winter uh, the winter um, brood you can see now one which is hatching now so i'm going to check how many frames of uh, brood i have if i have uh, three the interior of the the interior nest will be on three frames. Okay. Yes, I have nice brood here and here. This is the first time I'm uh, I'm searching inside these hives in 2020. This is an empty frame. It has some pollen, but it's empty. I will uh, exchange it for a honey frame. I have lots of honey in the upper upper box. I'm also going to use maybe one or two frames for other hives to, to offer uh, honey. The thin separator, the interior nest, Another thin separator. And afterwards, on the right hand side, from my sitting point, I will put other honey frames. So honey frames, full of honey, from the, from the upper box. And here I will leave these frames, which are nice frames, with a little bit of pollen. Uh, I use uh, uh, plastic foundations, black ones, so I can see the eggs nicely. You can see the black foundation here. So after these uh, two frames of honey, I will 
maintain some uh, partially uh, empty frames or empty frames uh, with which I'm going to larger um, extend the interior hive uh, in uh, 10 days maybe these are the bees from the mm -hmm. upper box and I'm going to to give just another frame of honey two frames of honey I'm going to take from this hive and give to hives which uh, do not have enough uh, honey and uh, at the next uh, mm -hmm. visit I'm going mm -hmm. to bring some more uh, honey frames from the warehouse so these two I'm going to use in another hive and this is the last frame of honey which I'm going to put here as a reserves for this colony let's put it here to keep a little bit the warmth inside the nest these bees over here will get underneath and uh, uh, participate uh, to populate this area okay proteic uh, supplement It's named uh, Podishor, as the name from uh, for uh, crown board uh, in Romanian. Uh, we also have a shop, online shop, and four uh, physical shops in uh, Romania. Get inside, so I do not crash you. These do not need any uh, energetic supplement because they have uh, four frames of uh, uh, good honey. So we're going to close them. Like this. Okay, this is another hive. Uh, this has made nest uh, on the right side i usually try to convince them to make the nest on the uh, left side you can see the bees they are right uh, on the left on the last uh, uh, frame this is a hive which was uh, artificially put in a state of uh, swarm in the autumn after the sunflower harvest it received a treatment with a solution of uh, oxalic acid 3.5 and uh, without any brood inside it killed all the varroa so you can use this method to to have just two treatment uh, treatments per uh, year one right after the artificial uh, swarming you can see we have a, a brood quite nice patch of brood and another treatment uh, the christmas uh, treatment here is the queen with uh, green <laughs> queen with green so two frames of brood. So we will use a, a frame on from the top uh, box with honey and some pollen as first frame. This we will need in just uh, just in a future step to extend this uh, mini mini nest where the queen is restricted so one thin uh, separator let's put it like this okay. 
the mini nest, interior nest. Closing of the interior nest. Okay. Here I'm going to put a frame with honey. And I will scratch a bit. Uh, partially the comb to make uh, make them uh, consume the honey quicker and also make a stimulation um, by this okay and we will have uh, four frames of honey this is what I'm trying to make for all the hives four frames full of honey one two three and the fourth is coming this one I'm going to reduce the space here with this separator, bigger one okay. pollen and supplement uh, spatty this will, will last for some time and I will not be obliged to to make uh, another Patty feeding uh, at next uh, visit, and this is all. I'm quite uh, ready for today. I just have this uh, these four hives, and I will be complete. I'm uh, in a hurry because temperatures are uh, are dropping uh, as uh, evening is uh, arriving, and I do not want to uh, uh, the brood to catch a cold. So uh, thank you for watching, uh, stay close for uh, the next video in which we will see uh, the development of the, of the hives using this method and we will be able to, to make a first uh, conclusion, a first uh, um, on this uh, method I am uh, testing right now. From what I have seen in the hives, I have uh, in most of them uh, kept root so this is a sign that uh, I should have started with this method about two weeks ago, so uh, 1st of February. But I will keep this in mind for uh, next year if I like uh, the development uh, using the Brinov method. Stay close, see you in two weeks.